Welcome back, folks, to the random video blog where every single Friday I, Graham G.S. and Matthews, give my rambling thoughts on the wrestling world, share some stories, etc., etc. And since today's video blog falls on Black Friday, what better way to celebrate the day than to kind of talk about my favorite items on WWE Shop, specifically my favorite wrestling shirts that I own. Not of all time, let me be specific here before you continue on with the rest of the video. Um, a couple different issues here. One, all the shirts that I'm about to mention, with the exception of one that I'm wearing right now, that I'm sure you know is going to be in the list, um, I don't have them with me. The timing of this video could not be worse. I mean, I, I guess it fits right in with Black Friday, and I wanted to talk about this for a while now. But the reason why the timing is so bad is because I don't have the t-shirts with me to show you. I'm sure you know all these t-shirts already, most of them anyway, or you can look them up. And I'm going to try to splice in photos of me wearing these shirts from just pictures that I already have. I don't know if I'll, if I'll be successful because I'm not good at doing that kind of stuff. So if the photos don't appear in the video, then I apologize. You can either imagine them in your head or you can just look them up or whatever. I'm sure what you know what t-shirts I'm talking about anyway for the most part. Because I'm home this week, and all my wrestling shirts are up at school. So, I, I only have this one right here. Thank God I brought this one home, so I'm not completely useless here. But, um, just kind of a, uh, a pre-note before we start this uh, video here, that I do not have the, I do not have the t-shirts with me. Just kind of a little editor's note, I guess. Just kind of a disclaimer. I do not have the t-shirts to show you in the video. I will be talking about them, however. And there is no particular order. I just randomly wrote down five, or rather eight, of my favorite wrestling shirts that I own, and I have quite I have quite a few of them, so uh, we'll go through the top eight right now. So starting with number one, again, no particular order, the Matt Hardy Stronger Than Death t-shirt. Now this is a shirt, I think with the exception of a maybe one or, yeah, of a few others, um, a lot of these shirts you can get on WWEshop.com. Like I said, Black Friday is today, so capitalize on the deals. I know I sure as hell will be, but I know last year I got a couple things in WWE Shop on Black Friday. They got amazing deals. Um, this one, of course, is not available on there. It's a Matt Hardy t-shirt. It's available on his own website, shopmatthardy.com. Um, and just being a huge Matt Hardy fan that I am and have been for a couple years, I got to meet him a couple years ago, and I, I mean, I've met him like three times since. Um, but I bought the shirt, I think about two and a half years ago. It's a Stronger Than Death on the front. Just a plain black t-shirt with the with block lettering. Um, Stronger Than Death, Matt Hardy on the front. And the same thing on the back, just in Spanish. And then Matt Hardy underneath that as well. So it's a nice little plain tee. You won't even know it's a wrestling shirt. It just says Stronger Than Death. I have actually a wristband that says the same exact thing. So I mean, I guess it kind of goes with that. But um, that t-shirt, like I said, not available on WWEshop.com. I don't know if you would wear it if you're not a Matt Hardy fan, but it's still a cool shirt, nevertheless, and you can find it on shopmatthardy.com. I don't know if he's doing deals today for Black Friday, but it's worth a shot. So after that, from NXT, Samoa Joe's first and only t-shirt so far. Um, the Samoan, or I think it says the Samoan Submission Machine, SoCal, whatever, and it's got his logo on the back. Great shirt. One of the few shirts that I have that um, I really, really like is both a wrestling shirt and just a shirt in general. Like, I've worn it around before and people have complimented me on it because it doesn't really necessarily look like a, a wrestling t-shirt. It looks like any ordinary shirt. I mean, a lot of these t-shirts have, like, the tag at the bottom that says WWE or NXT. The TNA shirts don't have that. They have the Impact Wrestling in the back, which isn't really a big deal, which I don't really mind. A lot of people hate the tags in the back or hate the tags on, on the little corner of the shirt. I could see why that would be annoying. You can get rid of it. Uh, you can get rid of it if you want. You just cut it off or whatever, but it's not a huge deal. If you really don't care about wearing wrestling shirts in public, then I really don't see what the um, what the big deal is. But anyway, um, the Samoa Joe t-shirt, it was released literally the night he made his WWE debut, or NXT debut, rather, at uh, TakeOver Unstoppable back in May. I wasted no time. I bought the shirt almost instantly before they sold out, and the shirt didn't come for like another month because they were, you know, they were so... Uh, they were on back order. So many people ordered them. It took like a month for them to get the t-shirts in. And I wore it when I went to go meet Joe at a Northeast Wrestling Show in August. And he is one of, literally one of the coolest guys, one of the coolest wrestlers I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. He signed the shirt. He signed a program that I have, which is right behind the computer. Um, he was a great dude. And I'm pretty sure I posted a picture of it somewhere, either on Facebook or Twitter or whatever many months ago. But Samoa Joe, great dude, an even cooler t-shirt that he has in NXT. Hopefully it's the... Uh, First of many during his time there. So up next, of course, the NWO t-shirt. One of the most classic t-shirts in wrestling. And I've talked about this for a while now. I've talked about I've said this for years. Now, the NWO t-shirt is one of those shirts that no matter what city they're in, WWE, Ring of Honor, TNA, whatever, no matter what wrestling company it is, no matter where you are, you are bound to see at least one NWO t-shirt. I've seen it 
Hell, working in the movie theater, I've seen people wear NWO t-shirts, a click t-shirt, right outside my movie theater. I've seen people wear it in public. I've seen it at WWE shows, Raw, SmackDown, indie shows, TNA, Ring of Honor. I've never been to a Ring of Honor show, but then watching it on TV, I've seen Ring of Honor, uh, NWO shirts or Ring of Honor shows. It's one of the most popular t-shirts of all time. It's not really hard to see why. It just says, the plain lettering NWO and New World Order. And that's it. Nothing on the back. Just a plain black t-shirt. And it was one of the best-selling t-shirts, not of, not even of that time in the Attitude Era and WCW, of all time. That's one of the major reasons why WCW was booming, because of those sales from those t-shirts and the, and the money and the numbers that the NWO were generating during that period of time from 96 onward. Um, such a great t-shirt. It's so classic. I'm pretty sure you could still buy it on WWEshop.com. That's where I got it a couple years ago. Not on Black Friday, but I bought it like right before that when it was on sale for like 10 bucks or something. And they, they might still have it. The only reason I feel like they won't have it anymore is just because of the Hogan scandal. And I know at one point Kevin Nash talked about how um, Hogan, you know, him getting X from the company a couple months ago caused WWE to not take down only all of his merchandise, but the entire NWO library as well. So hopefully, from what I understand, that those the NWO stuff is back up. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Even if it's not, I'm sure you can find another NWO t-shirt on another website because they're so popular, even 20 years later. After that, my CM Punk Best in the World t-shirt. Now, there's so many Punk t-shirts. Um, I know i got to specify here. Punk, in my opinion, in addition to being one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, had some of the best merchandise of all time when he was around from... I mean, even before he the summer of Punk, even before he cut uh, the pipe bomb in the, in mid 2011, he had a lot of cool T-shirts. The early ones with like the fists and stuff like that; those were cool. Um, he had the one with the Nexus, where it was like the same thing with the fist, but it had like lightning coming out of it, and it said "We are one" or whatever. Um, and that was a cool T-shirt. And then when he really got white hot, and you know, no pun intended, in the summer of 2011, he had that white T-shirt that said "Best in the World." And it had um, what, his new logo, or I forgot what it was, but that awesome t-shirt. And the original one that they sold in Chicago at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view had the date of the pay-per-view on it, 7-17-2011. I'm sure you can't find them anywhere anymore, and I've looked, trust me. But they sold that for a while, one of the best-selling t-shirts in recent WWE history. Right after that, they had the one that I'm talking about. And, you know, you can put any punk t-shirt on this list, but the one that I'm talking about is the gray one that he came out with right after that white one, um, it said best in the world on the back and punk we trust in the front, um, the Chicago star, it had his logo with the, um, with the fist and the lightning and a right, uh, white and gray flag or gray and, or white and black flag, I forgot what it was, on the sleeve of it, it was a great t-shirt, probably one of the first wrestling shirts that I've had and I still have it to this day, the, the lettering on the back is a little off, it got ruined in the wash a couple weeks ago, but it's still a great t-shirt, still love wearing it. And I bought it at one of the Raw shows, one of the Raw house shows that I went to in late 2012 when Punk was WWE champion. But that's a great t-shirt. You could, Like I said, you could really put any Punk t-shirt on this list. I also love the um, the white t-shirt that he had, but it was black and it came out, I think, in 2013. That's a great shirt, too. I want to get it at some point. He's got a couple other ones. They have the, the yellow GTS one that someone gave to me. So he's got a lot of great t-shirts, but that one was um, personally my favorite. After that, we have the Ultimate Warrior t-shirt. Again, there's a lot of them. WWE Shop, I mean, especially after he passed away, came out with so much Warrior merchandise. And it's not hard to see why. He was an icon of the 80s, one of the most popular wrestlers of his time in, in his prime in WWF. And I bought my t-shirt at probably no less than 24 or 48 hours after he passed away um, in early 2014. I bought the shirt on the website. And I got lucky, too, because... This was, you know, right after he passed away, so they really weren't adding more merchandise for him at that time, obviously. But at the time I got the shirt, it was marked down from like 25 bucks to maybe 17 or something like that. So I was able to get it on discount, and I got it like a week later. Still one of my favorite t-shirts. It just has, it's a, again, a plain black t-shirt just with the warrior mask on the front of it. And I think that's it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the back, and it's just the warrior mask. And I've worn that t-shirt around before to like malls. And when I went on vacation and stuff like that, and people recognize it instantly just from the mask. It does not say Ultimate Warrior on it, unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure. No, on the back, I think it says Ultimate Warrior. I don't know exactly. I forgot, but um, 
Still a great simplistic t-shirt. And that's kind of like the theme here. A lot of these shirts just have one logo or one thing on the front of them that make them very simple. And that's why I love them so much. Um, same thing with the Warrior t-shirt, one of my favorite wrestling shirts that I own. So after that, coming in at number six here on my top eight uh, favorite wrestling shirts that I own is the Mr. Anderson shirt, the only other TNA shirt you'll see on this list. The one that says, pro wrestling is real on the front. On the back, it says, people are fake. And I mean, it, it can be a little corny, whatever. But I love it because it's so true. People are fake. And wrestling is real to an extent, whatever. But you know what I mean. That's a great shirt. I'm pretty sure they're still selling it on Tina Imp. I mean, he's still there with the company. And I know he, he's had newer, sh newer shirts since then. But they also have back order. Like, they still have AJ Styles' t-shirts from, like, years ago. So... I'm sure it's still on the website. I bought that at the first TNA show that I went to um, last summer, last August. And um, that's a great shirt. I love wearing that around. And, you know, like I said, the rest, pro wrestling is real. People are fake in the back. People might not want to wear that, but who gives a fuck? I, I have a message about that at the end of the video. But um, that's another cool t-shirt and just something. It's so, it's so, you know, like in your face. And it's a lot different than a lot of these other ones. But that's what I like about it. So number seven on my list is the Dean Ambrose Unstable t-shirt. I believe one of the best-selling t-shirts, again, of recent memory, along with his um, sweatshirt that I got a couple months ago, too. But it's the t he's got a lot of t-shirts, too. But the one that I'm talking about is, again, a black tee and has the explicit logo just with Dean Ambrose. And in the middle, it's Unstable. And then on the back, they have the DA, his logo on the, on the upper back of the shirt. Again, great shirt. He's got a lot of great merchandise. I know he has other ones with just the DA on the front, maybe the explicit logo thing on the back. Um, he's got a few other ones now, Ambrose Asylum. He has so many t-shirts because he's so popular and people love his merchandise and they're really cool. A lot of great t-shirts, but um, that one was personally my favorite. I got that about a year ago too, right before Christmas. I think I got it on Black Friday if I remember correctly or maybe right before that, but anyway, that's a great shirt too. And then number eight on my list, you know, of course, last but certainly not least, the Macho Man t-shirt. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. The purple t-shirt, it just says Macho Man in the front, and that's it. It has the glasses. One of the most old-school, simplistic, and just freaking awesome t-shirts ever in wrestling. Not only in WWE, just in wrestling, period. Um, I got that only a couple months ago. They had it. I don't even know if they have it on WWE Shop. They have a lot of different colors, but I really wanted just the plain purple one. And they, they had it on shop, but it was like they had it in extra small or extra large because all the other ones were sold out. So I couldn't buy it until like earlier this year at FYE when I found it for like 20 bucks. So I got it then. It's, again, one of my favorite wrestling shirts. It's so simplistic. It's a great color. And people know immediately, like the Warrior shirt, when you wear it, that people know exactly what you're talking about. Even fans from today or 20 years ago know that it's a Macho Man Randy Savage t-shirt. And that's what I love about it. But those are my top eight favorite wrestling shirts with today being Black Friday. Hopefully you can buy some of these as well on WWE Shop, on TNA Shop, who's, I'm pretty sure, like, there are Black Friday sales going on all month long. That's TNA for you. I mean, say what you will about the company, but they got some pretty good shirts, in my opinion. I bought a James, uh, a James Storm shirt only a couple weeks ago. It was, like, five bucks, so why not, you know? But anyway, you can buy a lot of these shirts on WWE Shop, the Matt Hardy one on his personal website, on the NXT website. Um, Punk doesn't have any more shirts on WWE Shop, obviously, but you can buy his shirts on Pro Wrestling Tees. All the shameless plugs out of the way. Like I've said before, in past video blogs and, and on Twitter and on Facebook and whatever, there really is no shame in wearing these t-shirts out. Like, by this point in time, I think I wear more wrestling shirts in public than I do regular shirts, because my regular shirts suck, and I don't like them. I just... Not that I don't like them, but I just like, eh, that's not me. You know, that like, this is me. Wearing an NWO t-shirt is me. You know what I mean? Like, and, and who cares what other people think? I know that's just my way of thinking, and other people may not feel that same way or don't feel as comfortable, and that's perfectly fine. Just do you. But I'm here to tell you that it's completely okay to wear your wrestling shirts out in public. I wouldn't wear it to, like, a fancy restaurant or anything like that, but... When you're just going to school, or maybe not to work, but you know at other places like that where you can get away with wearing a casual t-shirt, why not rock, why not rock a Macho Man t-shirt, or a, a CM Punk t-shirt, or an Ultimate Warrior t-shirt? Why the hell not? You know, I've gotten the question before. Why do you wear wrestling t-shirts? Not by many people. I think a lot of people either understand or don't care, and the people that do care, I don't really give a fuck about to begin with, but... I've gotten questions before, like, you know, why do you have so many wrestling shirts? Because fuck you, that's why. Because I can. You know, I don't spend money on other shit, like shoes and whatever. 
you know, concert tickets and I just go to wrestling events. Like that's, that's my way. I don't really spend too much money in this stuff. I either get it on discount or I buy maybe a shirt a month and that's it. I don't really spend any money anywhere else. That's my personal way of doing things. Everyone else is different. I hate to go on a tirade, but I just want to throw that out there for people that, like I said, some people just aren't comfortable showing their wrestling fandom in public. Um, and I think it's okay. If you don't want to, whatever you don't feel comfortable with, don't do it. But I am here to tell you that it's completely cool. You're not the only one. I do it all the time. I just don't care. Who cares what Joe Schmo thinks about you wearing an NWO t-shirt? Who gives a fuck? It's a t-shirt at the end of the day. You're not walking around naked. It's a t-shirt. You know, if you're getting worked up about something like this, like a, just a piece of cloth that you just feel comfortable wearing because it screams you then who cares? You know, like I said, just do you have fun, buy some t-shirts. It's black Friday. Have a great holiday. Hopefully you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. We'll be back on Monday, um, with an all new hashtag S you Saturday and Sunday. My, the rest of my survivor series videos are going up of 2013 and 2014. So be stay tuned for that. This holiday weekend, as we get closer and closer to Christmas, a lot of great other video blogs coming up in the next month. I already have them planned out. So I look forward to producing them and doing them for you guys. So in the meantime, in the between time, folks, have a great rest of your Black Friday. I'm Graham G.S. and Matthews, and I'll catch you folks down the road.